Deepa, only sister and best friend, you light our home, you give life meaning. I'm delighted to welcome you to this Dear Sister event, which is part of our centenary project, Common Currency. Common Currency takes its name from the Penn Charter, which says that literature is a common currency between nations and people. And we're really delighted that this project has been in partnership with Off the Shelf and has brought together an extraordinary group of women from the Sheffield City region to share their experiences and to write new work. This letter was written in honour of Naomi Colcom an incredibly inspiring fellow sister who was tragically killed at the age of 28 in a hit and run accident in Sheffield in October 2018. You were snatched away too young, too soon, too painfully. So it's up to your sisters to tell your stories now. You were always near me and you will always be there for me, even though you're gone, a picture, a garment, are moments when I lay my head to rest. You are often in my dreams. You're laughing and sharing stories of the things I missed and the families who have migrated. My letter is about my friend, uh, Leroy McKee, who was a journalist, um, who was shot dead by the dissonant group on Good Friday, 2019. And although I cannot understand it, I wish it weren't so. I will live my life as fully and bravely as you did, as you taught me to. Do you remember all her stories about growing up as a black child in Liverpool? How at school the teacher would not educate her? There were a few other black children in her class in 1933. How she was made the milk monitor and the special person who was tidy up the playground during lesson time. There are so many things that I want to ask you about watching a world war come and go before you are the age I am now, with another looming just over the horizon. About coming, as a, coming of age as women's right to vote did. About your career fighting for every advancement. The music you liked and your favourite books and what you did for fun. The little things, the things that don't get woven into the grand tapestry of hindsight and nostalgia that we call history. Even in labour on my knees, I tried so fiercely to be good likening myself to an imaginary, braver sister. The small hours are not small. I stand as you have surely stood, moonstruck, window lit, wearing new life, midnight sister. And though I came with a mirror full of complaints, Andrea will be all aquamarine eyelids, ruby rue lips, an island girl with locks silked and set. It's been an absolute privilege and honour to be part of this project this year and um, the amazing women who've created wonderful, powerful writing about their sisters.